Hey guys, uh, M Tech back. Um, people want to know where I was and what was going on. Um, we didn't stop the research in any way. We just were taking a bit of a break and doing some more, doing a lot of training too at my other job, trying to get a promotion. But um, we'll see what happens. Basically, just took a break from the work and when I say break I mean took a break from posting videos on the work it was still going on here and there lightly and we have made more improvements with it um, transmitter of course sits in the center two-part receiver coil sits on the outside and this is an additional harvesting coil and the more of a wireless load you put on the system the better your conjugation efficiency gets meaning when it's tuned um, you get more power output so the two-part outer receiver coil has its power rectified to DC going back in to the um, driving battery and it's been going all day hasn't dropped below 13.39 power consumption through the meter is almost at a net zero and we can achieve that if I put the correct DC rectifier here on the output of this additional receiver coil and get it all tuned up um, so that's the next plan. We want to turn the system into a Lamar frequency harmonizer, meaning the system is built so perfectly and conjugates excess power from the dielectric domain according to Eric Dollard and Ken Wheeler's theories. It becomes fully self-sustaining. Um, and we still have impressive wireless power with the system to the point where it's like magic. So we should be able to harvest the excess power we need easily to have the system appear in a state where it turns on and outputs power with no current consumption visible on the meter and for those who don't know we've been perfecting this for a while I don't think th the design can get any better with how you tune it um, the main four ferrite rods that sit in the center of the transmitter and two-part feedback receiver coil system that goes into the battery is what really helps so if I remove these our battery will drop in charge our driving battery as you see our driving battery rapidly drops in charge because I screwed with the feedback now I will add these four control tuning rods back in the center of the arrangement and we will rapidly recharge back up to 13.39 and lock in as you see so I'll do that effect again, remove our tuning rods, we rapidly drop, do that effect again. So it's all about tuning. And again, I haven't had a system this good before that can be tuned so well. Um, make sure we're all in view. So yeah, that's that. Um, I've just been away on a while, on break, and when I say break, I mean break from posting updates. Um, been grinding hard at work, trying to get a promotion, but we'll see what happens. Probably won't happen. Whole state of the U.S. economy is in absolute dog shit, and they prefer to keep bringing in outside people rather than promote from within, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, quick update, we always do the research, um, we might take breaks here and there. But, yeah, that's a quick, quick update. And people want to see a face reveal, so... Face of M-Tech. How you doing, guys? Yep. M-Tech. There it is. So, that's the update. Um... Read the descriptions, check the posts, and yeah, that's that's the system. So, we're always at it, we'll always keep working. It's incredible the way it is, feel free to replicate it. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you, everybody, for getting us here. So, that's how it looks. Very remarkable. Still have the near magic like effects with the system. Um.
yeah, so you can't can't make up how crazy it is. And again, I remove these tuning rods. It immediately drops the voltage lock from the feedback. And I'll show that again. I'll add them back in now. And we immediately go back to the voltage lock. So, yeah, that's that. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon. And I'll disconnect everything, so you can't say that the transmitter was not doing that. We are now disconnected. Everything is off. That near magic-like effect is now out. And for those who say you see it very, very dim, the only reason that is lit very, very dimly is because I have the utmost sensitive RF receiver diodes on this Avramenko plug. So that's just picking up like a local radio station or something. So yeah, that's, that's that. And if I turn the transmitter system back on, um, we're immediately back on, the magic occurs again. So, that's that. Research continues. Took a bit of a break. Um, was doing some grinding. You know how it is. So, that's that. And thank you, everybody. We will see what happens and where the research goes. It's getting very promising. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>